<laughs> Give me something to say. What up, world? You are now in tune to Worldwide. Worldwide. It's the best station in the world. How's that? The best station in the world is back. Worldwide FM Berlin. And today we have a very special guest. Janis Sturz. <laughs> uh, later. And um, he's running Jakarta Records and Habibi Funk, a sub-label. We'll play us some tunes. Focus is on Arabic music, music from the Arabic world. And we start with Jared Wilson and his big band from 59 Algerian Fantasy. and his big band Algerian Fantasy not played without a reason Janis Sturz in studio today playing us some tunes discoveries it's a hard traveling man networker par excellence and this is Manu Di Bango Image de Famille we use this little song to chat on top and give you a little introduction what it's all about with Habibi Funk At first, Mano di Banco. Yeah, I'm really glad to have you here in the studio. It was a, a challenge to get you the first time. Yeah, one minute. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> and um, we're really happy to have you. Thank you. And um, for the people who don't know exactly where you're coming from, who you are, so you, you founded uh, Jakarta Records with Malta. 
Mm. How many years ago was it? That was maybe five years during which I kept on saying 10 years ago. So I guess at this point, <laughs> it must be like 15 ago. But the first three to four years, it was more, uh, it was a hobby for maybe the first seven years, but the first couple of years, it was a hobby losing money, mm -hmm. uh, which then graduated to a hobby breaking even. And then eventually at some point we could <laughs> kind of make a living off of it. Um, so I guess the way we run it now, like professionally been for the last maybe seven years, seven years. Like that. Okay. And when, um, uh, did um, Habibi Funk start? It's a sub sub label of Jakarta. Sub label, sister label, whatever you want to call it. But um, yeah, um, it um, started um, maybe the first release was maybe three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, as you can already tell, I'm shitty remembering <laughs> these type of the numbers. But I guess three years ago was the first release. Maybe four and a half years ago got into it by pure coincidence uh, one of the jakarta artists blitz the ambassador played a festival in morocco i uh, went along found some records i really liked did a couple of mixes realized there's like a disparity between the musical quality and the musical interest uh, or and the interest the music would would uh, create on the one hand and its availability on the other and then we kind of already knew how label works so the idea to start a, a label that re-releases old music came with more okay. natural and at the same time I, I realized that from the bigger region that like there was a lot of riches from turkey from iran mm -hmm. but very few things from 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 the arab world so that was the, like the regional focus we defined for ourselves okay um yeah oh that's uh and um you're just about to release a little movie about malik one of the one of the first releases we did which yeah. um yeah was was a crazy story to begin with because I, we had this music on our radar for a bit um and then we we knew we had passed but we had no clue how, how to find this family to to make a deal with them and then um i told this to a friend of mine in beirut and she was like i can ask a friend in nigeria and i was like yeah but there's like 60 million people in nigeria <laughs> What are the odds? And then two weeks later, she calls me and it turns out her friend's family is the neighbor of Ahmed Malik's daughter. Oh, nice um, and these weird coincidences keep on happening for us. So, yeah. And you you made the world even smaller with your label. You're so connected in the North African Arabic world. Nowadays. Yeah, I mean, at least for this, there's always this notion that I know a lot about Arab music, which I certainly don't. I know about <laughs> a very, very niche special <laughs> interest segment, whereas there might be the the equivalent to a big pop song here, like the, yeah, I um, can't think of names right now, <laughs> but where I might have never heard of the artist. So, I, yeah, my, my interest is very, very special in nature. But. Yeah, let's have a listen. To cool. that little niche. <laughs> cool. And uh, this is Yannick on the record players right now from Habibi Funk. And we talk later. And I wish you good fun with this gentleman. Ginger, 
Écoute-moi, oh camarade, laisse tomber cette fille, tu m'entends. Elle va te rendre malade et tu vas souffrir longtemps. Je sais bien que tu l'aimes et tu lui as donné ton âme. Je sais bien que tu l'aimes et tu lui as donné ton âme. Mais elle ne t'a jamais mis camarade Elle profite de toi et tu es content Même si paroles sont froides Tu dois les sentir pour autant Regarde-toi bien dans la glace Et réfléchis, c'est important Tu as choisi une épine, hélas Ce n'est pas une rose de printemps Je sais bien que tu l'aimes Et tu lui as donné ton âme Je sais bien que tu l'aimes Et tu lui as donné ton âme ne compte plus sur ses promesses Elle t'aimera pas même à son temps Elle t'a joué la double face Elle changera un chaque instant Elle t'a pris pour un imbécile Mais toi tu trouves tout ça c'est bon Ne me dis pas non c'est inutile Car pour moi tu es un con Je sais bien que tu l'aimes Et tu lui as donné ton âme Je sais bien que tu l'aimes Et tu lui as donné ton âme
Voici mon horizon et les punes et les vagues. Mon chemin vers l'Orient mènera aux étoiles. Les mille et une nuits de prêcher à sa Dieu vous les chanterez de l'Orient. Constellation, nous ferons ce voyage. Nous atteindrons l'Orient, nous oublierons notre âge. Nous perdrons la raison des limites aux frontières entre le ciel et l'air de l'Orient. Nous ferons ce voyage Quand les voûtes du ciel se remplissent de rêves Tout deviendra fiction de l'Orient à l'Orient Dans la constellation Voyage vers l'Orient
بصراع دايم ولسانها نار والليل الليل والليل طويل ويباتنين 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 ملزقة وسقة ونوم وتبصر صبر مسكين صبر مسكين صبر مسكين صبر مسكين صبر
Yeah. 
فاتت راقص وتمرح في محياه محال يا خوف يتأخر وعارف إني برجاه تتابع نظاري كل غادم وتهتف يا هماياه محال الليل يتأخر بأبدا ما نوايا ساعة الفرح إلي ومن أحلام صحيني أفتح عيني ألقاه وقف باسم يحييني يا ساعة الفرح إلي ومن أحلام صحيني So much beautiful music today, and this was a recent one, huh? a reissue. Yeah, just the the most current one by yeah. the Scorpions, the Sudanese ones, not the German ones. Beautiful. <laughs> no, no, the winds of change. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, and funny enough, there, there there's a there's another Sudanese band, more contemporary, on I think Afro Seven Records, that mm -hmm. is called the Scorpios. Ah, yes. No relation whatsoever. I mean, their theory is that they stole the name from them, but I'm not entirely <laughs> sure whether that's true. <laughs> but I, I want to uh, mention the beautiful artwork always. Huh? The yeah. Habibi Fang stuff looks amazing. Like, yeah, let's, I mean, let's have a look. This is uh, uh, beautiful. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm always a fan of photos. Um, so I guess photos our idea always was a 
to bring together um yeah or like at least very centrally work with photography yeah um which sometimes makes our life more complicated because sometimes that takes longer finding photos uh, than, than the records and the music but yeah, yeah. and I, I always like um uh artworks or labels that have some sort of a visual continuity and yeah. that's i guess what we're trying to do and you told me in the meantime when you're in a country where they have like more the 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 standard covers it's you have to actually to listen to every record which is there yeah i guess i mean sometimes yeah so, some countries uh it was really common that every record had its own cover so you can always go by like the mm -hmm. the the overall visuals and kind of get an idea whether it might be something that is interesting yeah. to, to what i'm looking for but in countries like egypt 95 percent of the records you find will come in a company sleeve yeah um which like this always looks like <laughs> this yeah. or s something like that and so you have to actually listen yeah go through it with a portable record player yeah yeah, yeah. And, and, and and you told me the rate is quite heavy it's like <laughs> one to 100 one to 200 but then again that's my for my personal taste okay. i'm sure there's other people if you're more looking for traditional egyptian music obviously your yeah. your quota will be much 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 better but if you're yeah. looking for the more obscure stuff or the type of music that is a bit different than than the other stuff then yeah That would have been my next question. Is is just your taste responsible for the um, selection? Yeah, I mean, as much as the label is called um, Habibi Funk, it's not only about funk music. Uh, should yeah, I get yeah, our, yeah, yeah. keep yeah. our background music going? <laughs> <laughs> um, Go ahead. No problem. Um, so, I mean, the, the, the type of music we're looking for is kind of... Um, that particular sound where musicians from the Arab world brought together their own musical heritage with something coming from outside. And that may very well be soul, funk, jazz, disco. Mm -hmm. um, but that might also be, let's say, on the last compilation, we had uh, an Algerian Coladera track, which All is right. the, the music coming from Guadeloupe. Mm -hmm. um, or like a lot of the Sudanese musicians have more influences from, let's say, Ethiopia or Congo. Um, as opposed to to the US, so um, the, that exchange of of musical influences and identities usually creates the the products that that interest us musically. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, obviously, still in the end, the we pick whatever we yeah, personally like. So I would never. Our approach is not to give an idea of Arab musical culture because that's clearly not what we're doing. Yeah. Um, 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 and also goes back to, to my original statement that I don't really know. I would never say I know a lot of the music from the region. I don't. I'm only um, I got some idea of that very particular niche that I'm, I'm personally interested in. Okay. And I guess, yeah, that also shows in the, in the selection of music we're putting out on the label. Yeah, yeah let's move on. You show me a very nice tune to come. The next one. Um, th this is uh, um, by uh, a Kenyan musician called Sal Davis. I think he has that one. There's one very expensive Afrofunk record by him. But in the early 70s, he got commissioned by the uh, by the um, Sultan of Oman from the Arab Peninsula, like south of um, UAE, um, to um, do a track about his greatness, I guess. Um, <laughs> Probably. But the musical <laughs> result is really cool. Okay, let's have a listen to this and have a yeah a few more minutes to go with Yanis from Habibi Funk doing a great job playing us some beautiful music. Oh, 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 oh,
عرفت احلم وغني بعد ما كنت قبلي مشتاق لحاجه صح املت يا حب اني من اول يوم قابلتك والعمر ماشي صح مش غصب عني انا اللي اخترت احبك ودي اول خطوه صح وجودك جنب مني وجودي جنب منك ده صح والف صح عرفت احلم واغني بعد ما كنت قبلك مشتاق يا حاجه صح امنت يا حب اني من اول يوم قابلتك والعمر ماشي صح عرفت احلم واغني بعد ما كنت قبلك مشتاق لحاجه صح امنت يا حب اني من اول يوم قابلتك والعمر ماشي صح
ميرسي ميرسي هالضحكة الحلوة دي حلوة حلوة الضحكة دي ميرسي ميرسي هالضحكة الحلوة دي حلوة حلوة الضحكة دي ميرسي على الابتسامات اللي بتكسب على Merci, merci,
much surprising good music what well, yeah, not surprising really but very interesting music where where was this from actually uh, that came from libya um at some point i managed to visit like an abandoned cassette tape factory uh, in tunisia uh, which manufactured most of the cassette tapes for libya and, um, and you said it's it's a, like a, a football stadium size wise. It's, it's at least huge, huge place with like a half a million or a million unused tapes. I mean, but a lot of them also like there's also like bootlegs of Lauren Hill albums or something. Like that. <laughs> so they, 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 there's Maybe the whole also interesting. There's the whole bootleg cassette tape stuff, but among them there there I found some Libyan stuff, uh, especially the Libyan stuff. The early '90s Libyan stuff is really interesting and okay. hard to find outside of Libya where you can't go right now. Okay, and you would say the tape business would be the box of the Pandora when you open this one. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a universe. less people looking for it. And I guess the, the economic aspects of tapes always meant the cost of producing were lower. So I think the economic barrier for releasing your music was, was lower, which then again allowed more unorthodox mm -hmm. uh, music to be released. Um, so yeah, I guess that, that helps for, um, for the type of music you can, you can find on cassette tapes. Yeah. Um, And then, on the other hand, you obviously always have the quality issue. Yeah. Um, nine out of ten times, you won't be able to find the master tapes. Of course. And then working with cassette tapes copies is always a bit of a challenge. Like, it's, guess, hip, it's hip right now. <laughs> it, it's hip, but yeah, it has this, like, for example, I really love the, the Dodo Band mm -hmm. album from that is out on Awesome Tapes, but uh, I mean, you can hardly play it uh. out because the, quality, the sound quality, uh, which is always the, the big challenge. And I mean, in the end, obviously, I guess most people will make the decision to still put out the music because yeah. the music is so great. But uh, yeah, that's the limitations that the format of cassette tapes. And you have so many projects lined up already for release? Yeah, as I was saying, um, usually I'm quicker and 
binding and signing the artist mm -hmm. than actually putting out the music <laughs> just because the whole like all of our releases always come with a booklet and like the the research uh is much more intense for these type of projects um so i always plan to put out like four to five releases a year um and then we always end up just doing two or three mm -hmm. um and kind of has proven that we don't manage to do more um so yeah there, there's the next release is coming from lebanon mid 70s lebanese release the one after most likely uh, um street generation family band from morocco unreleased album mm -hmm. early 70s um and then some stuff from the Kabila region in in algeria um which also won't be in arabic but in amazia dialect um and then some more stuff from sudan um there's a guy from sudan who in the early 80s made like synthesizer music with drum computers wow. um i'm gonna put out his stuff and more Ahmed malek yeah a lot of stuff okay we're all looking forward hope to see you again soon yes. somewhere here if we can make it thanks for having me pleasure having you and thanks for the great music and um, also thanks for our back-end people writing all those names which nobody can yeah. actually witnessing two german people <laughs> speaking english yeah. to one another with german accents uh, yeah, yeah yeah okay yeah that's the way um thanks Janis. Thank we you. move on for for a bit i play some tunes and i wish you a great day Thank you. Yeah, Have a good nice soon. afternoon after everyone. Yeah. And you can leave. Uh, you okay. can leave this. <laughs> <laughs>
Can this be true? 7 million plays? <laughs> how, how much? 18 million plays on YouTube, yeah. And now on Brownswood Recordings. Um, greetings to Giles for his YouTube knowledge. <laughs> Let's listen to the other one, just released freshly on Brownswood Recordings. Thank you. 
jazz stuff happening right now in London, in the UK and everywhere in the world. But in the early 80s, this was happening too. This is a Vendetta a track by the band This Location and Dance on Rough Trade Music. And the next one will be the new mode selector, singer with Flo Hyo. Track title Wealth.
Dress. Not Undress. <laughs> Undress. Kaffee con Leche. New EP out. And the next one is very interesting, a new compilation called Boogie on the Main Line with German Disco and Funk and Boogie Tunes, which are pretty rare, never really see them standing around here in the record shops, the originals, but DJ Scientist made a yeah, fantastic selection for this one. And we are listening to the band Cash with a track title in German, Raff Dich Auf, Stand Up. This is World Wide FM, Berlin with Alex Bark, Janis Stürz from Habibi Funk, just left the building.
From Boogie on the Mainline to the Bottom Line <laughs> compilation on BBE, selected by Spinner Post Disco Club Jams. This is South Bronx original on Rissa Chrissa Records.
Sometimes it's not good to look at the actual artist and how he looks like. <laughs> This is the Paul Bailey Sound UK Disco Boogie. Take a walk in the moonlight and we are almost done. This was Worldwide FM Berlin with Habibi Fang Janis Sturz in the studio, already gone. Hope to see him back soon. I say goodbye. Hope to... Oh, you liked it. Tune in the next time next month with Benny Sings. 
singing some songs for us live here at Worldwide FM. Take a walk in the moonlight or dance in the moonlight like B.B. Seaton would say. Goodbye, have a nice day, nice week, nice month. See you soon. something to say what up world you're now in tune to worldwide worldwide it's the best station in the world how's that